playing the Jin mechanically well, it was really the setup that wasn't there for him to succeed. So we'll see if the setup is different this time. Well, the setup is different this time around. Let's see if they can exit of, of FPX. I, well, probably the most well-rounded version of FPX we've ever seen. And now Nuggery and Bin in a 1v1. TP from Angel and Doon B is here to answer, but he's going to get gold carded and snipped on through. Doon B is almost he's just running. removed immediately. Bin's in trouble, flashes away, dodges the shock blast. Nuggery goes down and the 2v2 goes to Angel and Bin. I mean, Angel's able to get there first, and then you see Nuguri, he's not able to walk back up again on that long. It's that top lane. Bin could be in serious trouble here because Doon B is roaming up as well. SOFM is like, all right, There's no destiny. I'm doing Drake. Good luck, Bin. You're on your own on this one, buddy. Gonna go for the needlework. Flash forward from Tien and down will go Bin. Has a bit of sustain, but it's not gonna be enough. And Tien grabs himself that kill. That will be Herald up towards the top side, and that should be first tower. Yeah, and again, the timing is beautiful. Sooning, uh, sorry, Angel's Destiny has just come up this second. So there was no possible response to come in there. Bin was completely isolated. You have no flash. No way you get out on that one with the extended chase. They managed to get that tower in the top lane. A ton of gold for these carries. And now they can push for a second one. You do see the pings coming out now. Maybe Angel goes in with the ult. Bin can TP as well. Oh. I think that's going to be the play here. <laughs> as the skull crab will be taken by TN. Um, and I'm... I'm Resisting all urges to make another terrible joke here. Nuggery stopping yet another recall from Bin. I think that's like the 19th time that has happened this game. My concern, Orcs, the reason I'm stopping the Harry Potter jokes is I feel like you and I are English. Harry Potter is like a part of the culture here. Over in America and elsewhere in the world, it was just a set of films. <laughs> so they're, they're like the difference in level of reference popular, is right? pretty dramatic. Maybe, yeah, I, I get the difference in the, in the, in the references, but still, it was pretty popular everywhere, right? That's true. There are theme parks, I guess. But anyway, Herald comes down. We saw a trade across the map. Dragon for Sooning, Herald for FPX. And now they're going to slam that into the mid lane as it what? does a ranged okay. charge. Wow, Heralds are revolving. The Void is becoming stronger. Maybe that'll be the next global event as the Void comes on in instead. It's going to be a tower. On gauge. is on the flank. Here's the TP. Angel's behind everyone as well. This is the moment for Sooning, but it just gets rude. On can't play the game. He has to back out the other side of the fight. Nuggery now the target, but it's on to go down first. Nuggery falls. Bin escaping with his life. Snip, snip across the team as well. And Huan Fung can start to clean up. Doing B gets a route, but SOFM is in looking for the play. Sonic Wave goes in, dives the tower here. SOFM flashes over the wall after Doing B, finishes the kill, and Huan Fung finds LWX. And it's an ace for Sooning. What aggression coming out from Sooning. They see FBX. Fire cannon coming on through, but FBX finding a tempo advantage and getting themselves a tier two in the top side. Yeah, we saw Sooning oh, lean bot play. side, but now they're in position to contest this. The gong. gold card comes on out. Here's the CC chain. Tian going to be locked up here, but it's on just removed once again. Tian jumps into the fray onto Angel, but he's gone too deep for this one. Flashes over the wall, but here comes the curtain call. Nuggery has found Huang Fung, but Gale Force keeps him safe. One for one here. Support for jungler. And now the re-engage. Angel on the front line. Again, gold card comes through. Chris going to be locked up. FPX are on the wrong side of this play. But it doesn't feel like Sooning can punish them. At that big AOE combo, and they're just not allowing it to happen. But we do see Tian playing with fire a bit here. Oh, good CC chain. That's going to be the ult coming <gasps> through as well. Realm Warp out to safety. Everfrost keeps them at bay. And He's on gone. just endlessly CC'd. He doesn't get to move at all in these fights. Beautifully done by FPX. I think we might actually see him build a QSS in this game, honestly. He's got uh, the null magic. These fights just feel unplayable for him. Every time he's getting locked down and then just goes almost instantly. It's really painful. Uh, do you see them now starting up the Baron? It's a 5v4 on the map, but the ult comes down the Destiny. They have spotted them out here. 4v5 on not here just yet. The root comes in on Chris, but he still gets to go oh, go in anyway. Bin is just shredding the, the entire team. What was that, Bin? That was unbelievable. And Sooning tear FPX apart. 4v5, they couldn't care less. Bin goes huge with the triple kill. Manages to find the, the, the huge ultimate across the team fight takes out Drombi, takes out Tian, and they're able to deliver. Things were very back and forth, but this is now a big lead for Sooning and a Baron to boot. It was a 4v5, Joe, and they managed to come out ahead. That is insane coming out from... On a bin, he is now monster fed. Three items completed when everyone else is on two, if that. 
SOFM wants to try and go for this Drake, but he is totally alone right now. TP coming through from bin behind the play. Can they steal the Drake away for themselves? Goes the way of FPX in the end. Now the fight ensuing. Angel has to use the Zonya's Nuggery. Getting chased down by Bin, who's in the back of the fight, causing mayhem, distracting, trying to take them down. Realm Wolf oh, out LWX. to safety, but it's LWX has been abandoned by the squad. The invisibility cloak doesn't do much more anymore. Crisp stuck in the pit and executed by Bin. 15 to 6, and it looks like Sooning might just push us to 3. I mean, they are looking good in this game. FBX, you know, they commit to the dragon, but it's third, right? You're behind in gold already. I think they try to sneak it and get out. Maybe the plan was use the realm war, but they end up losing Nuggery in the in the fight, and they end up losing even more on the back end. And now, going to be slow. They're <gasps> oh looking for the curtain call. I don't know if Tian can even tank Ooh. this yet. Yeah, tanks it for Doom B, but SOFM just goes in. One Q might finish off Doom B as FO if SOFM can land it, but Huang Fong. Can't follow up for now. Just It becomes difficult. It's an uphill battle by all means, but uh, I don't think FPX is the sort of team to give up. And you do see Sooning just quickly pick up that dragon. There's some pings coming out from Sooning on the, the Baron. They're still very afraid of like a Realm War brush, but for the time being, I think FPX is contesting some of this vision before backing off into their base once more. I mean, the big thing about uh, the state of the map right now is, oh, hang on, Tian. Have you been caught, my friend? That is a big gold card. My lord, the damage that Angel is doing at this point. Tian down to half, having to use his ulti. And that is an opportunity now for Zuning to just run at the Baron, right? The enemy jungler yeah, is mean, completely chunked, doesn't have his ulti, just start this one off. I mean, yeah, they, they assume he's going to have to reset, so they'll just start straight on it. And again, they are happy to take a fight off this. They don't necessarily need the Baron. They just want to potentially bait into a fight. The Angel's hovering around. The gold card does not too much damage to Chris, but will just chunk him out. And I think with this, Iron's just gone. I love how you see the Realm Warp. Oh, the wards on the map are baiting me. It's not the wards, it's the traps. Oh, I see the traps. play from FBX. They oh, want to catch Angel here. The flash forward. Angel locked up. There's the stun as well. And they managed to find one member of Sooning. At what cost has been... Dives onto Nuggery. 1v1 under the tower in the base. Bin does not care. He wants revenge for the world's finals. Now in the mid lane, the inhib in trouble here. This is a 4v4 across the map. As Sooning will take two inhibs. Can they end the game? Are they willing to risk everything to end right now? The answer is no. They move up to the top side. They want themselves a third inhib. Yeah, I think it's super risky to go for this again. Chains of Corruption, a lot of value if you push in or onto those Nexus Towers. Instead, they want to apply that pressure on the top side. Does look like FPX are getting in position to contest this. I think they have to go for the fight. On, take some damage. Here they go. Engage on to on. It's not the greatest target though when the tower is down. Bin is just completely untouched. He can do what he wants in these fights. Tian can't do anything to him. Bin can just 1v5 Ooh. at this point. And Swan Fung is like, you know what? Count them, baby. That's two shots going in as Tian does just get onto the fountain, but it doesn't matter because there's a needle and thread out and Bin is sewing up a storm right here. It's going to be FBX going down on the fountain. Angel locking everyone up with the Everfrost as Huang Fung gets himself a bonus little kill. 8 0 and 5 on the Jin. And that is game. That is three games now that we're going to as Sooning even us up in the series. And a convincing game, it felt like once more, the slower paced early game, teams just testing the limit.